Hey everyone, so I'm basically back with a new video and I haven't been here for so long and just want to apologize and this is what this video is actually all about, why I haven't been on YouTube as I should be. So a lot of you don't know because I don't really put out all my information out there, but now that I have a YouTube and I have to be constantly making videos, I should at least attempt to tell you guys what has been going on. So um, right now I'm applying to optometry school. Optometry for those who don't know is the eye doctor. Basically, we have to go through four years of training just like any other doctor will do. And you have to apply for that program, take a test and do all the necessary stuff that they need to do. So that's what I have been doing. So I just want to come on here and tell you guys about my process. I'm finally through with it. Um, I'm just actually waiting on the interview if I actually get into the program, but that's a whole other story. But I will tell you my process and what I've been doing and why I haven't been on here. I feel like I do owe you guys an explanation. I'd like to say I'm sorry. So first let me start off is I graduated with my bachelor's degree. So once I finished did that do that, I find a full-time job as I'm now into tech. different sections. Like I said earlier. You have the sciences first, which is the biology, the organic chemistry, and the um, and the general chemistry. Then you take the reading part, and then after that is like a 15 minute break. It's optional. You don't really have to take the break, but I recommend that you do take the break just to relax, to go drink something, get some more energy, and take the physics and the math section. Which is is from 200 to about 400, and normally schools want to want you to score about 300 and up if you didn't really do as good as you should do on the OATs just make sure your GPA and extracurricular activities is really good so it is that can as many times as you want but you have to do three there have to be a three month period that you don't take it so you have is a wait period that you have to wait for in order to retake it again so the test is about I paid um last time I paid was about 390 I believe and it goes up as the years. You have to study from biology from since I don't even know, like in high school maybe, to all the way to college. And you have to remember basic stuff. And it's like not certain topics you have to know. It's like everything, like a generalization of everything, because you never know what's gonna be on the test. Um, I didn't take any Kaplan courses or anything like that because personally I couldn't afford that out of pocket. So I just studied on my own. I actually bought two books. I have the um the OET book, a blue book, the Kaplan OET practice test, the fifth edition I believe. And then I have the um I think it's Princeton cracking the OETs physics. That's just generally for physics because I took the test twice, like I said. The first time I took the test, I did awful on physics, like there's no type of excuse as to why I did that bad in the physics section, but I did awful on it. So I got that um that other book to help me at least just with the physics because I did that bad. But at least I scored much. I used that book to study, and it's just so much in there. Um, it was able to help me out because I remember some stuff. So that was a good way to study. But um, as I work with doctors, different people have different ways of studying. And the three doctors that I worked with, they um two of them took a course. And then the other one just anyway, studied um, from the book. The book class is basically the, the where the application is. You have that's the first application where you get a letter of recommendation. You put in all your grades. You put in all the extracurricular activities. You get everything is in there, and then they send it off to the schools that you want to apply to. So that's really a good. I think that was perfect because that way at least you get a generalization of what every school needs to know, and then some schools send you a secondary application once you finish that first application. So basically with the Uptown cast, you put in all your information. You have to get about four letters of recommendation max. You have to have an optometrist. Well, actually some schools differ. My school made me get an optometrist, a science teacher, um, just a general teacher, and if I want someone else, anyone extra. But I got my four people. I got my science teacher, I got my optometrist, so I got my that, With that, I will give you some really good advice. One of my letters of recommendations, he actually told... I love this professor, my physics teacher actually. He told me that he would do the letter of recommendation for me really, really early. Like I asked him as soon as I figure out, like, you know, this is what I want to do. And when I told him, he's like, yeah, sure, fine. Just remind him when it's time coming closer. And I was like, okay, I, that's what I plan on doing. So, um, time came for the, applica the application process opens July the 1st. I'm so sorry, I'm like all over the, the place. I'm just trying to give you my story, but it's just like, 
bits and pieces all over. I'll try to organize this video as much as I can. But he responded and said, yes, I will get it done to you as soon as possible. So, as soon as possible, I was like, as soon as possible, I was thinking maybe in a week or two. In a week or two, I haven't seen the letter of recommendation that said they send you an email telling you that they have received it. So I hadn't received it. it it's been past, it was about, hmm, I'll say two months, and I hadn't received it. And I was starting to panic. Like all my other stuff was in, and I was just waiting on this letter of recommendation. And it was like, I sought him on Facebook, I emailed him, I called him, no response none whatsoever i don't know what happened but i finally got in touch with his ta which was my ta at the time and i finally told him to tell the professor to make sure and send in that email for me and he would actually respond the day after so that was perfect so my best advice with the letter of recommendation as soon as the application process starts put in their information and give them a date earlier than the time that is closing so give them at least like three months or so to send in that letter of recommendation or maybe two, I suggest two. But two months for max to send in that deadline for the application even though it's longer, make sure they send it in much earlier. Make sure and get as much social media as you can, stalk them. That's my best advice. I got my transcripts in. Your transcripts have to be from all the schools that you take. Even if you took one course there, you need to make sure and send it into Tomcast. That takes about two weeks, like I said, to make sure. And that's the second thing you should do when you fill out your Tomcast. Make sure and have that down. Also, if you join organizations, all those organizations, every single event that you went to, that you volunteered to, that you can contribute in some type of way, write that down. Write down the dates because it they do ask you for your supervisors and um and some information and address about them personally you don't have to do that part i didn't do that part for some of them because i mean i did clean the world and the post and there's like a huge organization so i couldn't really get a supervisor's name i couldn't remember the lady that was there that day so i just put on that address i mean when you put clean the world a lot of people know where that is but just put that at least the address as well. they want to know who everything okay. about you they want to know basically so make sure and document every single thing about your really life time, especially if you already in. finished your bachelor's yeah. degree and you have all these classes lined up like you have to make sure and get everything typed in manually and then once this transcript is sent to them they verify it to make sure that it's accurate so don't even lie don't even try to lie on that because they're gonna catch you and then you have to do the whole process one again and it's gonna take essay. much longer so with that essay just tells you why you're interested in school what is your goal and um I said it's from the beginning. Free. make sure and send in your application as early as possible now schools always say the same thing send in earlier as, as early as possible i thought Once i said it, it in, sent early in as possible. it takes Actually, about a month in order for it to reach to the school that you wanted to go to i didn't know that I literally told once you send it in, once you pay your fee, it was automatically sent to the school right away. No, it takes a month for them to verify everything, for them to check your grades, even though they, they tell you they receive your transcripts, they don't look at it until you pay. I did not know that and I want y'all to know that so by the time y'all are actually applying and ready to send in your application, make sure and do it the same month, like July the 1st and sometime in July, so at least they can get it in August. And then you can get your secondary applications. Do whatever you have to do. Send that back in. The podcast. Once that is sent in, it is sent in. Like all the extra information that you add into the Tomcast, like as far as your activities, they're not gonna see that to be honest. They're really not. Unless you tell the um email the school themselves and tell them what hey, this is what I'm could you make to this school. Like why would I want to let you into my school? What what makes you stand out type of thing? So think about all those questions in advance so by the time you're ready to write your letter, it won't be that it won't be that long, it won't be that strenuous. Make sure and have people read over your paper as well because sometimes you could want something to come out one way and you're thinking because you know this is the way I want it, this is the way they will perceive it and that's not true. Make sure and get someone else to proofread it and um, basically tell you what they think of the letter and what you, what 
was the point that you were trying to get across because that, that really helps because sometimes in your mind you think that this this is perfect this is exactly what I wanted to know about me but when somebody else read it who don't really know you read that information and it's like it came off a different way so you have to be really careful with those letters now the questions that I didn't answer or that you wasn't too sure about what in heaven's name I'm talking about just ask me, just comment below. I will respond as soon as possible because I mean, if you want, they all the help you can get and stuff. So that's my process right now. That's where I am right now. All my information has been sent in. You have a um, better chance of getting in when schools see you get your application done really early. They want to interview you, they want to see your personality. And if you get in early, like if you get an interview early, they have less people to compare you to because normally people take a while after to apply and to actually get their applications in. So the earlier is better because they want to fill their seats in their school. If their school isn't, their seats isn't filled, then they don't really have a school, they don't really have a class to teach. So they want students to be able to sit in their seats and be like, yeah, okay, I choose your school. So the earlier it is, the earlier they see you, the earlier they want you, the less people they could compare you to. Take my advice, don't do exactly what I did, but take my advice because at least I know. I know the process, I went through the process, I'm going through the process right now. So this is like the best time to actually explain to you guys what is going on, what you should do. Um, like I said, I'm so sorry for being so delayed on my channel, like I, <laughs> I was watching my channel and I have like one video each month, which is so bad. Anyway, but I'm, try I'm trying to get all this bad video as I can. Thank you for waiting on me for my videos. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys.